All right, guys, so I am a mess. I know I'm a mess. I've been doing everything live stream. I'm hoping to buzz over and get a Planet Fitness shower here. I just got done doing a live stream about fuel economy. I'm hoping tonight I'll get my laptop straight. I got somebody that's supposed to help me out. They hit me up during the live stream. So I figured I'd start video recording again on the GoPro here. I know it's a little better quality, it's not so shaky, so sorry about all those live streams. Shakiness and rough, I just was shooting it on my phone that has no stabilization. I'm in Sacramento, California. I've been racing down for San Diego for a job. I'm starting to come out of a dark spot that I was at. I was pretty depressed, I'd gotten suicidal and stuff. But I haven't had any of those kinds of thoughts in like three weeks, so I'm feeling really good about that. Let's get over, get my shower in, straighten myself up. I, boy, I could use a trim too, huh? Um, got some bum stuff going on. We'll get back here on the road. I'm hoping to hit LA area by tomorrow. Should be one more tank of gas into San Diego. This has been kind of hectic for me because uh, I'm doing this trip with no repair reserve. I'm just trying to hustle down to San Diego after I kind of drained into my funds. Um, you know, well, go see the live video. Let me put it up here. I, I need to stop talking about that stuff so I don't get sad again. But I want you guys to know where I started from. I got cleaned up. I know the beard's getting a little scraggly. I gotta get it trimmed a bit. I was trying to see where I could grow it out, but I, unless I grow it really long and do the like very sculpted, I think I'm gonna keep it shorter. I like it shorter parked out here it's getting dark a guy could probably stealth camp right here but i i want more miles all right guys so we put on about another 140 miles since we got done at the planet fitness i got a rest area here i'm gonna get off here and call it a night uh i think that's a little over 400 miles today not a bad clip. RV still running good. Need to tell her nice things. <laughs> Keep her going well. I don't need any problems, you know. Is that a space? In half a mile, merge onto I-5 South. It doesn't look like a space. Somebody's already in that one. Good morning, guys. So I got my lenses in. Last night I stayed over here at the rest area. Now, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about boondocking at rest areas, but I've done it a lot when I'm basically on the freeways or highways that have them and I'm just going place to place. I usually stay at them quite a bit. Getting ready to roll out of here a little later than I'd like to have it be. I meant to get up about two hours ago, but uh, I didn't. And uh, I should be into LA area in about three and a half hours, four hours. This has got to be one of the most boring stretches of freeway I've been on. There's a few that are more boring, but this one is a long, long one. Sacramento to LA is just flat, almost as flat as some of the spots in Nebraska. And if you see here, we still got 135 miles. It's almost 400 Sacramento to LA. I'm actually getting tired of seeing orchards and sagebrush. If I wasn't worried about fuel e efficiency and uh, timeline to get where I was, I'm heading down in San Diego, I certainly wouldn't come this route. I'd absolutely suggest that you guys do the 101 or the one. We are about to go and hit the grapevine, so I haven't really gone this steep of a uphill that was this long. It's the length and steepness of this one that kind of ends up being an RV eater. So we're about to do this for the first time, and we'll, we'll see how she goes. This is the warmest this has ever been um, <laughs> so far this entire trip. And it may be the warmest I've had it. I can't remember right now, but we're going 45. 
and losing speed. So it's it's a bear. Oh, there we go. We downshifted. I got to back off a little bit here. I don't like to be up over 3,000 RPM, so we're going to back off. Still rolling uphill. Still got a long ways to go. Temperature is okay. We're doing it at about 40. <laughs> you see here, I'm towing a car too, so it's pretty light. We're only 2,500 pounds back there, but we are towing. And we're holding 40 miles an hour and with 3,000 RPM. And the temperature seems pretty good. I don't think we're gonna have a problem. All right, guys, now we're heading downhill. So we're testing out the brakes now. I got invited to go watch the uh, NASCAR race. So I'm trying to find a spot to go with the RV real quick to go make that. Just got done over there at the Planet Fitness with a shower. Let's get a place to drop off the RV, unhook the car and get a haul and tail. I'm running late. I had a hard time getting up this morning. Uh, the blues seem to come and go on me. I, people say that's normal, but sure don't like the way that feels you start just feeling like uh, everything's all good and everything and uh, then <laughs> whiny ass shows up all right I'll check in with you in a minute I, think I found a spot here Look at those mountains over there with the granite tops that's pretty nice um, pretty sure this is private property so definitely shouldn't be here too long I'm just gonna try to be here through the race it's right here behind the planet fitness so hopefully that'll give an excuse to be here let's get the car disconnected and get out of here I'm getting pretty fast at unhooking that now we got this right here all ready to put away in the car we're undone there just got to roll up the cord here all right just like that I use a tie and this little tiny bungee to put it up there so it doesn't come off I never had any problems let's roll out Watch that windshield for you guys. Sorry. Looks like everybody's over here tailgating <laughs> out before the race. So the main race is supposed to be at 12:30. So I'm meeting uh, somebody up here in one of the parking lots with a pass to get into the infield. So I'm kind of stoked about that. It says it's about half a mile further up here. Tell me how it's going. You got the tailgate thing going on or what? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. For Cali style. Oh, it's yeah. Cali style, guys. Cali. This, this is how they're doing it. They got King Taco, we got King Carlos. So I'm from South Dakota, and everybody here is from all over the world. So, hey, so awesome. yeah, well, you'll have to check out Wanderlust Estate. Oh, awesome, man. Hey, right. welcome to California. Thank you, guys. All right, man. Have Later. First time ever at NASCAR. I've done, like, different little, you know, speedways in my little hometown up in Ephrata, Washington for anybody that's watching from there. Over here, I guess this is like the fan zone that we're about to go into. And there's concerts and food and things like that. I haven't been over there yet, so you're gonna be seeing it first with me as well. Look at that, that's what I'm talking about. Mesquite charcoal, big old turkey legs. They got some nice turkey. So here's one of the tire garages. I thought I'd come over here and show it real quick. I know it's super loud over here with everything going on. Pretty much normal slicks here if you were wondering what the difference looks like compared to when they're worn down. So when you're wearing out your tires, you don't have slicks. Into the pits, guys. They're stuffed right now. <laughs> All right, let's go this path. 
Guys, they got suites that sit over the pits here. I bet you these guys end up getting to see a lot of action during the day. So they're going to start bringing the cars through, so I thought it would be cool to have an elevated look from it. Thank you! That guy down there is very loud and thinks he's very special. <laughs> They got to push the car in. I would have thought they would have run the car in. Yeah, they gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they got such a long drive, they got to save that fuel, right? <laughs> so, who knows whose car this is? Number 24. Uh, well, it's not Jeff Gordon's anymore. Uh, William Byron. William Byron, there we go. I think it's crazy they got to run the pit gear in like this. I thought they actually took the trucks in myself, but or at least they did in the speedways in my little town. It's weird to not know any of the names hardly are anymore. With with everybody that's retired and all the new cars. Hey there, any of you guys Jordan fans? Here's the Michael Jordan car. Man, what's going on here, do you think? I wonder who this is. <laughs> yeah. There's obviously, in one of these vehicles, there's a dignitary. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, you know who that is. Um, shoot, I forget his name. He's probably the movie. That whole uh, police escort, I expected somebody that was in politics, not or the leader of some other country, even if they weren't political about it. But instead, we had a movie star. I need to get hurrying over to the finish line over here. They're doing like a signing deal, but I thought I'd check and show the pits from an elevated area. These would be pretty cool seats. You can really enjoy some action there. I'm hanging out here with the So I came down on on the so track here because I was hoping to get to get sign the finish line. The right on, this is pretty cool. Looking forward to getting to do this. Look what everybody's done already. Race car is a product of a team of, in our case, almost 200 people uh, and their efforts. Getting those people pulling in the same direction is a really right. effective process. We'll go ahead and sign it on there. Huge challenge. And, and then the signature. The there it Separate is, guys. Oh, it's fast. Got to be skipping the red carpet thing as the drivers come through. But thought I'd film it anyways. We need to go get our spot set up for watching the race. These folks have been coming here for the last 10 years to the track and they got the tequila. I guess there's a 22 bottle record. Um, so it's known as the tequila place over here. And here's all the pictures of everybody that's been out here doing the Jose Cuervo thing. And I guess they're up to 11 bottles so far here at the track this time around. Some cool like people history, you know? I'll have to see if I can catch them when they're outside. just officially ran through the national anthem the f-16s came over and we're ready to get started here this is how all the rvers do nascar
got wrapped up here at the NASCAR event. It was super cool. A uh, guy named Kyle Larson ended up winning, but there, the guy that I picked because uh, I wanted him to win was was uh, Kyle Busch. And Kyle Busch, he had to start in last place. Then on top of that, he had tons of tire problems during the race. A couple of spin outs, ended up four laps down. The guy came all the way back, ended up placing 14th. So, I don't know, that was a pretty awesome comeback. I was pretty stoked about, about it. Glad I was rooting for him. Glad he did that well. And uh, it's time for me to have a comeback.